tree. I have no idea if this is a remotely good angle because this is a different angle. Again, you are, I feel like I should show you what you're being tripoded on. Mm. That is what you're being tripoded on. One of my water jars and a jar of ink wash. So yeah. I guess while I have you here, I will show you a little bit of my workspace because it is a little nutty. Um, yeah, I, I'm watching um, Lauren Toyota's like what I ate in a day videos. She's she's vegan. I'm not vegan. I'm kind of thinking about embracing some more vegan things. But that's kind of hard with Eric, but working on it. Um, I mean, my plants and the one that Ariel has dug out, and I need to water everybody. Everybody's droopy. We have not taken our air conditioner out yet. Um, sketchbooks, indigenous art books, and some contemporary art books, aesthetic theory. Oof such a chunk of a boy. Um, one of my vultures, one of my crow skeletons, the zombie bunny hanging out. of these nice lanterns. Brushes, pens, um, chaos. Uh, I'm still working on organizing this. It's, it's a combination of like bills and patches that need to be put on things and my large iPad hangs out there, my, my computer actually hangs out there when it's not being used. And because on, on the other side is the couch, which you can see a bug way over there in a pillow taking a nap. My, my record player, Eric has a nicer one, but this is our, our make use one. More sketchbooks, more books, bags, or art supplies, storage. The Exandria, the first Exandria art book, Critical Role art book for my nephew. Um, I got him one of the, one of the um, not super pretty editions because he's like nine, but, and I'm not sure he's going to like it, but he's a, he's a budding artist, so I thought he might enjoy it. My printer, my circuit, my scanner that's covered in stuff, my other vulture. Yes, I in fact have many vultures. Oh yeah, I have shing art. I have a piece of sh shing's art there. And another over here, the gambit is by my friend Carolyn. It's beautiful. Look at that boy. He's so good. Um, books, skulls, more books, bits and bobs piece by Camille de Erico. Um, ooh, I can't remember the name of this artist. They're new artists that I just started following. But, um, I, I bought one of their tarot decks, and it is the prettiest thing. It's super pretty. I have to, like, take pictures or something of it for y'all. My by art son, my, my, my little ponies, these are, um, these are not original ones. They are doing a reissue right now of like first gen My Little Ponies and that's what these are because I had first gen My Little Ponies but I didn't lose them but I don't have them anymore. Um, my Peridot, my Him, my Wonder Woman, my Boba Fett, um, my, Yet my Eddie the Yeti from um, Survey Jungle, I have Crocananas, Pusheens, Squishy's hanging out. My Survey Jungle hat. This is currently complete chaos because it's just like holding stuff at the moment. And my my typewriter, my baby typewriter. That actually goes where the laptop is, but the it's too tall with the lap when the laptops over there. Um, but part of the reason. Uh, hold on. Hi again. Part of the reason why I'm talking to you other than let's finish a video for once in my life um, is I wanted to show you a couple things I got. Um, 
Shingen Kor, who is a beautiful, beautifully amazing artist that I really love. Like I said, I have a couple pieces of hers. I have more than that. Those are just the only two that are up. I forgot to mention that is a piece by uh, Gawky. Their handle's Gawky, their name's Key. And you can see one of my Von Art pieces back there. There's another Key piece. And my, my 13 by, uh, that can't see. My 13 by Christopher, signed by him and I met him. We were at the same con together, like across, across a very small room from each other. Uh, that was the same con I met Katie Rex at, which was really cool too. Um, but going back to Shing, Shing does these, um, as I totally lose the word, wow, we're doing good. Shing does these fundraisers habitually, and that is the sound of a no. Hello, I'm talking to my camera. Just letting you know. Shing does these um, fundraisers habitually in which they make paper crane, look, a thousand paper cranes in 24 hours. And this time it was to benefit races, rakes? How do you say that, Eric? Races. Races, um, which is a charity in Texas run by an indigenous woman who, and that they're really that they're really focused on immigration, especially with the current things that are going on with our immigration policies in America. But I got us a couple. I donated, and we got a couple of the paper cranes. And they're, they're really neat because the paper's all printed in, in like, um, Shing's comic style. And then they're all, like, hand-folded and they come with a card of authenticity in which number. It's like, this is number 669 of a thousand. And tells you, tells you who folded your thing. That's really cool. I like it. Um, and I also wanted to show you this thing. This is a commission piece. Yeah, let's move that back a little bit. This is a commission piece for my friend Sarah. That's going to go in her 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 brand new kiddos room. So that's a little weird. My art's going to be in a tiny child's room. I mean, it's one thing when it's my nephew because there's like a familial obligation there. But yeah, but yeah, there's a, like a familial obligation there. Uh, I know there isn't, but it feels like there is sometimes. So yes, things I have been working on. Um, we're coming up on the end of the semester, which is really exciting, and I'm really hoping that nobody asks me to teach next semester because, wow, do I not want to? Um, but yeah, uh, God. I do fine with the talking thing, and then I don't do fine with the talking thing. I also want to 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 show you other things I recently got. I um I'm thinking about I'm thinking about starting to do some DMing maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, so I picked up the Water Deep uh, Dragon Heist book because I thought that might be a good way to try and do it. I also have a lasers and feelings thing set up um, that I can put people through if they still want to do that. And oh, I picked up the, the giant Dungeons and Dragons Art and Arcana book, which is a chunk of thing, but it's like it's a history book of D and D. Like all the cover, ooh, I remember that cover. All the covers I remember from being a kid, like. Oof. Sorry. It's very big and I am very small. Like, this cover of the Monster Manual was the cover I grew up with. I miss it. It, it was a really good cover. <laughs> Not that the current cover is bad, just, you know, things you miss when you were, from when you were small. 
but it, it's this entire like history of D and D and D and D art and um, that goes all the way to where are you? Goes all the way to Critical Role, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So <laughs> I'm sure Mercer is is really pleased that that's the thing that got put in the Art Ar Arcana book for 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 Critical Role. <laughs> Sure, he's super thrilled, yo. But it's so pretty and it's thick. It's a thick boy. Um, I mean, I picked up some some new cookbooks recently too. Eric and I are, Gnome and I are trying to get ourselves back into the habit of cooking and cooking more and different things. It's it's depression issues when. When you're depressed, it's it's hard to want to make food. So, uh, and it's it's still National Novel Writing Month, so I have like all the noveling going on in my life, very badly, very not good. I'm gonna stop talking to you for a little bit. Um, I got some things I gotta do, so I will come back later. Bye. This should be higher up. I should put you on the thing that's over there that I use for that I use for for streaming. I need to start streaming more. I am having a minor meltdown, um, which is <laughs> not unusual for me. I really feel like this should be higher up. Hold on, there we go. But that feels a little bit better, maybe. And it's funny because, you know, I have tripods. I have, like, th three tripods. Two of, like, the big, like, on-the-floor ones. One of the ones is, like, a Gorilla Grip. I have one for my cell phone, which is also a little Gorilla Grip. And then I have two of these, like, eh, mechanical arm ones that you use for like streaming and recording like above you and stuff. <laughs> I have no idea what those are called, but I have a couple of them. Because one came with my, I got one for my mic and I got one for my streaming camera and I didn't realize they were the same thing. I, I do think they have different attachments. It's just that I probably could have got the attachment without the extra arm. Yes, th this is me just rambling because I, like I said, I'm having a minor meltdown. Although it is, um, it is the 19th of November. I'm about 5,000 words from reaching the 50,000 word goal of NaNoWriMo. Mind you, I am both rebel and potential, you know, cheat, um, because my program, because my prog the program I use, the, the, the word processing program I use, um, doesn't count words that are hyphenated as two words, and it doesn't count things that have dashes behind them as separate words. I have to, like, go in and fix that, and for those of you who have been here for a very, very long time, or have read anything I've ever written. I like my hyphens, I like my dashes. I'm a weirdo in that regard. I'm very like, I don't want to say Dickensian because Dickensian, 
because Dickens was kind of a trash, but I'm kind of Dickensian in how I how I compose my punctuation. So it's it's a lot of weird. Um, I'm also very congested. Good to know. But um, but because I'm working on more glittering venery stuff, and I've reached this point with the entire like world that it has become so interconnected because it's a, it's the stuff any of the stuff I've written for Glitter and Venery which encompasses a lot um, anything I've written for Zeldine's Museum which is a chunk anything I've written for Hood um, and anything I've written from this pet project way back in the day all of it is interconnected into each other in ways that I didn't realize had was actually happening until a couple years ago and I start this year for as part of my nano project because I have the actual story that I'm writing which is uh, the glittering venery of the courts at war because we finally reached that point plus I just didn't know what else to write this year um, <clears throat> I'm also creating a glossary and how the ecosystems of this universe work and how things like moving through the Senpai Murum work and it's just like this is a lot and it's a lot of like specialized words and I, I, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so I have this huge glossary that I'm writing too which is where a big chunk of my, my word counts coming in. But that's important because one of my goals for next year is to actually finish, finish a completed first draft, all the plot holes fixed, or as much as I can do, all the bits and bobs of the first Glittering Venery novel. Which is a worry, too. I also technically don't know if I'm teaching next semester. My, I, no, Gnome, um, said the contracts only, for adjuncts only last for a semester, which is fine, but Dr. Morris hasn't talked to me about the thing, which is also fine, because I'm having the, wow, no, I'm not teaching me anymore, because this semester has been a lot, it's been really bad for my mental health. So I'm not sure I should be in formalized classrooms anymore, ever. Which really makes it difficult to, you know, support myself as an artist because that was a lot of how I was supporting myself this semester um, because I'm having to, to, I'm having to do less cons next year because Gnome just doesn't have uh, the mental health space, the mental spoons, and the physical spoons to, to come minion for me at all the cons, and I don't have the physical spoons to, to do as many as I want to. This year has been an exceptionally bad pain year, and I hate the fact that I can say pain year. Um, the last couple months have been very bad, and part of it is the teaching thing, because it uses a lot of my physical spoons because I am very physical when I teach and it's been very difficult to not be as physical as I want to be when I'm teaching. Like I literally sit in a chair like a good 80% of the time now because I just hurt too badly if I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure this is anything anybody wants to know. <laughs> Another edition of what it's like to be an artist when you have mental health issues and physical disabilities. Hi. And it's like, I, I also need to get my studio back to a point where I can use it because currently right now I can't. It's mostly storage. I have this beautiful easel in there that I've literally gotten to use like twice because I just can't use my studio right now. I need to just clear out a bunch of stuff. I need to put a bunch of art pieces into storage because they're just taking up too, many, too much room. Um... I haven't decided what projects I want to do for next year as far as art stuff goes, but I want to make more of my, my, my sculptural conceptual stuff again because I haven't done that for like a year and it really bumps me out when I don't do that. I think I want to start picking up doing this 
it's the sketch a day thing again, but maybe in a less formalized, in a less for formalized here, it's going to be on this piece of paper and really more just like sketches that I can just do, um, just spend time drawing. I mean, I, I still want to do more, more digital stuff because it's, I don't want to say it's easier because it's not easier. It takes a different amount of time. It takes a different amount of effort. It takes a different brain space and a different physical space. Um, but it's also a little bit easier to do when I'm just like sitting on the couch, which is probably like <laughs> not good for anything. Um, so it's like I want to do more stuff like that. It's also easier to, um, easier. It's also uh, easier to, digital pieces are easier to clean up to like put on Redbubble and stuff and turn into prints. And not that I don't have a beautiful scanner that I could be using, which is currently under a skull, three of my little ponies, a deer, a vulture, and a sign. Um, <laughs> Cause I have really weird workspace. I, I also really want to get my like Patreon and my shop so that it might be sustainable and might actually make a little bit more money because that would be nice. It's like making art isn't about money for me, but it still would be nice to be able to support myself. I also want to do more regular YouTubing stuff because I kind of weirdly like talking to the camera. <laughs> as weird as I, I look when I do it and as weird as I look, period. And I also like doing the Twitch streaming thing. I just, I don't really play video games and stuff, so it's all like me arting or typing or whatever, and I'm not sure how exciting that is. And I'm having a giant thing, and at the same time I keep having the, well, I should just go back to school and finish my PhD and just go be an academic and be done with all this arting nonsense. And, cause what's it getting me? Where am I going with it? And, I'd say it's my midlife crisis, except I've already had this crisis at least seven times in the last seven years. Actually, the last year, so, you know, I don't think it's cri midlife crisis, I think it's just me being not confident in what I do. It's also hard when you have an art style that's so vastly different than, like, 95% of other artists that are kicking around. And you're having to, I don't want to say train people into liking it, but there's a certain amount of, you have to expose a person to a thing before they're, they can decide if they like it or not. And it, from there, if they're willing to pay money for it or not. So it's complicated and I'm only into a couple years of doing this. Like I think I'm at four now <clears throat> and I, <laughs> I really only get to cons in the Midwest because, like I said, Gnome and their teaching and I, flying is a thing I'm still not good at <laughs> and I don't have a way to, I haven't figured out a way to condense down my stuff so that I can take it with me onto a plane. That is something I probably need to figure out too. So yeah. It's great. It'd be lovely if we were like Japan and had, you know, really super fast bullet trains where you could just hop on a train and get across the country in like a couple of hours instead of the like three days it takes on Amtrak. But it also helps that Japan's way smaller than us. But it'd be really nice if you could just do that. I think I'm going to go work some more on my nano. Maybe I can finish it up today. <laughs> that would be nice. Finish it up today and then the rest of the month can be just me picking at things instead of having to like feel like I'm in a rush. Especially with Colonialist Turkey Sacrifice Day coming up because we're Gnome and I are going to Gnome's Gnome's folks which is the, going to be the first year in a while that we have gone to uh, been to the family holiday farce um, because a big chunk of gnomes not extended family but their stepmom's family so it's like 
mm, as far as family goes, are terrifyingly GOP. Like, they, I'm not sure they're actually Tea Party people, but they're damn close. And we are very much the types of people that the GOP would rather didn't exist, period, ever. So, hi. So, we have that coming up this week. Yay! <laughs> this is the most rambly long thing in the history of ever. Um, I need to go. I need to go do work. I need to... I need to do something that justifies my existence in the universe. I do not need to justify myself in the universe. I... My, my, my value come. Ah! <laughs> capitalist language it sneaks into everything anytime you talk about value and worth then uh -huh. okay I'm going to go I'm going to work I'm going to do some writing I'm going to do some writing I'm going to do reading for class tomorrow and class prep and I'm going to breathe so that I stop freaking out so that probably means there's going to have to be some tea at some point it's fine it's good it's fine we can do this. There's only three more weeks in this semester. I can get my students through this. I can get me through this. Everything's better with a crocodile on your head. Okay. So do good, be kind, be brave, take care of yourself. Take care of yourselves. Squishy loves you. Squishy wants to be your friend. Look at the squishy. Those sweet little button eyes.